I've done a lot of art courses and I've done a lot of live classes. I've done searching for realism and never, ever been taught how to do it. Every time you go into a class, it's like, there's your model sitting there. You've got two hours once a week, do it. And then they'll come around and say, you know, you might want to do this, you might want to do that. So I've never, ever, ever found a class until now that has taught me how to paint. And I've been painting for years. Academy of Realist Art UK is an extension of Academy of Realist Art as it is found in Toronto, Ontario and Boston, Massachusetts. It is one of a select few academies in the world that utilises the academic approach to drawing and painting. They model their curriculum and teaching methodologies on those used by the 19th century European academies, with the aim of helping students achieve the highest calibre of skills possible. Academy of Realist Art's highly successful graduated academic process teaches students of all levels to see the objective truths found in nature and the fundamental skills needed to represent them. ARA training is much more technical than any courses I've done before, uh, which have been based more around um, how to express yourself and doing loose lines on a canvas, that kind of thing. With ARA, we learn techniques like uh, to make paintings last, building up layers, um, that sort of thing. I've always had a lot of ideas about what I want to paint, but I haven't had the skills to be able to reach the level of quality that I wanted to. I think, I think now I should be able to, with a bit of effort, produce some of the stuff that I've wanted to do for a long time. Um, I don't actually believe that individual expression is something that can be taught or, or learned. It's, that's a very unique thing. If you take the example of other art forms such as um, music, writing or, or poetry, um, you have to learn the fundamentals of these things before you're let loose to do expressive work. Um, to use a musical analogy, um, you can learn to play an instrument but you can't learn to, to write a song. And drawing and painting is the same thing. Um, once the student internalises that, that visual vocabulary, um, then they can be let loose to do more expressive work. And it's, it's a more honest expression, um, rather than just working within the confines of their own limitations. Academy of Realist Art offers a four-level programme covering all aspects of drawing, including structure, shaping, lighting and values. Working from the flat using graphite, then progressing to drawing plaster casts in charcoal. Students then graduate to painting, working first in monochrome and then in colour, painting a range of still life, figure painting, portraiture and old master copies. The way the course is taught um, is a stepped process uh, and it doesn't really matter what level you're at, the stages are broken down and everyone is um, completing the stages at their own level. It's about learning the process to then go away with. Uh, there is uh, so much more emphasis on methodology and structure. and. Um, and it's more directed at looking, looking directly at what from what you're painting at nature, and and uh, and matching that in the paint, and and it, there's there's not this it's not loose where you can just um, you know put in your own ideas. Um, copying is important because you need some kind of fixed reference point so that you can have. The instructor look over your shoulder and you're both on the same page in terms of critique. Um, so basically the students can't say, oh, I, just, I meant it to look like that. 
Um, if you have an instructor with a trained eye kind of looking over your shoulder, they can say, well, this bit needs to be a little bit um, wider or thinner or, or darker or lighter or whatever. And that way, if the instructor and the student are both on the same page in terms of critique, then that really pushes the student's um, observation skills. And that's the most important thing. It's, it's all about learning to see. The two main things that Academy of Realist Art UK wants to achieve uh, are quality and accessibility. Quality because we, I mean, we already have world-renowned ateliers in Toronto and in Boston. Um, very good reputation and I want to maintain that reputation. Accessibility because it's self-paced. So people can study at, at, in their own time and take as long as they need to do that and still maintain their, their home commitments. Um, so, I mean, I think it, it's quite a liberating thought that now where people might have once had to um, compromise the style of art they wanted to do, they're now free to be the artists that they really want to be.